Hi everyone outside there watching us on BTN TV. Here again is teacher Fred delivering a mathematics lesson as usual. For those who have been following us, they know where we ended and still keep this in mind. Teacher Fred is from Wisdom Center Buchesela District, just within Kalumuna. Remember, it's a good school. It is a school that delivers quality services at an affordable price. School fees just as cheap as 40,000, at as 70,000 only. That is school fees from lower classes to upper classes. Vacances are still there. Just right away from baby class up to P5. P6 is full. So for those who will be outside and you feel like you need to join us, please, you are most welcome. Any, any child who is outside there, you want a comfortable place, please ask your parent to bring you at Wisdom Center School in Bujasara District. Stay tuned as we kick off to the lesson of today, which says uh, today's lesson is finding ratios of uh, degrees or finding ratio of degrees. Just like for those who have been following us previously, we were looking at how to find ratios of degrees. This time around, we want to look at the ratios of degrees. How do we find a ratio that determines the number which has been degrees? For example, when we look at example one, Example one says, a simple Sonia is a pupil in a primary six or P6 class at Wisdom Center School. In 2018, it was 50 kilograms. And by 2022, she reduced to 40 kilograms. Find the ratio she degrees with. So, when we look at this child here, the child is in P6 class, but at which school? Wisdom Center. Remember, by the year, in, uh, by the year 2018, she was measuring 50 kilograms. Then, by the year 2020 or 2020, she reduced on her weight to 40 kilograms, meaning that the old the old kilograms she had, it was 50. Then the new kilogram that she's having currently, it is 40 kilograms. Then the question is asking us to find the ratio she degrees the width. How do we find the ratio that Sonia degrees the width? Uh, the first thing we need to do is to identify the first or the original weight that she had. At the same time, we need also to find the new kilograms that she had. Then thereafter, we shall be in a position to determine the ratio of degrees that Sonia degrees the width. That is to say, we shall come and say, all the kilograms. So here we are looking for the kilograms that she had in which year? In 2018, she was measuring 50 kilograms. That was 2018. But later on, in 2020, she reduced her kilograms. We think maybe because she was overreading, so her kilograms went down. She reduced by some 10 kilograms. And now our new kilograms, it will become 40 new kilograms is equal to 40. So when we look at 50 kilograms, it is the old number or, num or old quantity when we look at 50, because it is what she had earlier in 2018. But when you come to 2020, now that's, that's a new year with the new size or weight. Now the new weight becomes 40. That is now our new weight. Then from there, we want now to look for the ratio that she degreased with. How many kilograms were degreased? They were 10 kilograms. So we want to see the ratio between 50 and 4 in terms of degreement. So I'll come here and say, 
ratio ratio degrees ratio degrees simply we are meaning the ratio that sonia degrees by in terms of weight from 50 kilograms to 40 so we want to see which ratio did she degrees by so for us to determine the ratio of decrement or degrees we shall say new new weight out of all the weight when we look at the old new weight we have identified it as 40 when we look at the old weight we have identified it as 50 so for us to determine the ratio of increment uh, of decrement we shall have the new kilograms or the new weight divided by the old weight which will give us now we are going to substitute the formula where there is new we shall put the new weight that is 40 kilograms so i'll have 40 kilograms as our new divided by the old weight what is our old weight according to our summary we have said our old weight is equivalent to 50 kilograms so our old weight will be 50 kilograms so here we have now we are now in a position to work out the ratios remember in a previous lesson we said writing the ratio is also determined by the numerator and the denominators the first ratio will be a numerator the last ratio will be a denominator so when we look at this 40 kilograms is our numerator 50 kilograms is our denominator let's copy this statement the way it is we paste it there then we cancel it out or we divide everything out so we shall have 40 kilograms divided by 50 kilograms it is just the same statement the statement which is down here so i want us to deal away with this unit first of all we shall have these kilograms cancelling out with these kilograms when we look at the two numbers the denominator and the numerator you realize that they have a common factor that can divide them but before we look for any common factor that can divide them we can see our numerator is ending with zero our denominator is also ending with zero so there we shall not waste any time we shall just come and cancel out the zero from the numerator will cancel out with it as zero from our denominator then from there we shall have we are remaining now out of the whole statement we are remaining now with four out of five as our as our fraction so we shall have four out of five let's look at that fraction do we have any factor that can divide all these digits and it gives us a whole number without any remainder i think we don't have because when you look at this you cannot say you'll get four divided by two that one will give us two without a remainder but when you divide the five with the two it will give us a remainder meaning that there is no any other small factor that can divide the two this gives us our ratio then we shall come and have four to five now this becomes our ratio of degrees then i will come to the last statement and say therefore the ratio the ratio of degrees the ratio of degrees the ratio of degrees is 4 to 5 then i have to underline my statement so when you look at this statement here how can you determine that the ratio is right if you want to prove that your ratio is right then we shall get the first ratio the way it is you'll prove from a side this is not part of the work but you can also prove it from a side 
get the ratio. The first ratio is our numerator. The second ratio is our denominator. Multiply by the old number. If you multiply by the old number, then it gives you a new number that proves us that the ratio is right. Let's look at our old number. Our old number was 50. Our old number is 50 kilograms. So we shall get our ratio times 50 kilograms. This is our original number. So if we come out with everything here, if it gives us the decrease that is reflected in the question, that proves us right. So we shall have 4 out of 5 times 50 kilograms. From there, I'll have to cancel out. I'll say by 5, 1, by 5, 1, which will give us 4 times 10. Here we are now remaining with the 10, which will give us a total of 40 kilograms as new weight. And when we look at our question previously, the, the question which, has, which they have given us, they said, is simply Sonia is a pupil in a P6 class at Wisdom Center. In 2018, she was 50 kilograms and by 2020, she reduced it to 40 kilograms. So, by the, sec by, the, by the year 2020, she reduced to 40 kilograms. So when you get the old percentage, uh, the old number, and we use the ratio which we have obtained up here, you realize that it will give us the new weight, which she decreased to. She decreased to 40. So when we use our ratio times the original number, it will also bring us to 40. That proves us that the ratio is right. Meanwhile, let me go to the second example. As I go to the second example, put this in mind. Have you just switched on your TV and you would like to have this kind of work for your personal benefit? Would you wish to have the lesson and follow it alone? Simple. Just go and subscribe BTN TV channels. Go on their YouTube account. You'll find everything there. Find everything on their Facebook accounts. Find everything on their Twitter accounts. Find everything on their Instagram. As you put this in mind, this is Teacher Fred delivering the lesson from which school wisdom center we still have vacancies that we need some of you to come and join us we have a very good learning environment actually when you are there you feel you're at home please if you are a student and you are seated outside there just simply ask your parents to bring you at wisdom p6 we are full baby to p5 we still need more let's go to example two that's not the issue for today example two says Example two says, find, find the ratio that decreases, find the ratio that decreases 500 mangoes, 500 mangoes, Two, three hundred mangoes. So let's look at the second example first of all. The second example is saying find the ratio that decreases five hundred mangoes to three hundred mangoes. So they have already given us a degrement. At the same time, we know the original number of mangoes that we had. So the first thing we have, we have to do here, we shall need to identify the original number of mangoes. At the same time, we shall also need to identify the, num the new number of uh, mangoes that we came out with. Then thereafter, we shall be able to determine the percentage, uh, we shall be able to determine the ratio which degraded these mangoes. Okay? 
So I'll come here and first of all identify our old number of mangoes. Our old number of mangoes. Our old number of mangoes. How many mangoes are we having here? The old number of mangoes will be equal to 500. That is the number of mangoes that we had at first. So if this is the number of mangoes that we had at first, we need also to identify the new number of mangoes we came out with after degreasing. So the number of mangoes that we came out with after being degreasing, we shall have 300. So the new number of mangoes becomes 300. New number of mangoes. New number of mangoes is equal to 300. 300 mangoes. The old is the mango you had at first. That is what we are calling all the number of mangoes. The ones you had at the beginning is what we refer to original or all the number of mangoes. Then, the number of mangoes that you ended up with is the one we are referring to new number of mangoes. Then after that, for us to be in a position to find the ratio of degrees of these mangoes, we shall say ratio of degrees is equal to new number of mangoes divided by the old number of mangoes. There you'll come out with the ratio of degrees or degreement. So we'll come here and say ratio ratio of degrees. Ratio degrees ratio degrees or ratio of degrees will be new number of mangoes divided by all the number of mangoes. New number of mangoes divided by all the number of mangoes. And we have already identified them. We know our new number of mangoes. We know our old number of mangoes. So our new number of mangoes are 300 mangoes, right? So we are just substituting this. I will have 300 mangoes. So this is new number of mangoes. When you had a certain number of mangoes, that was 500 mangoes. At first, you decreased them or you reduced them to 300. So that 300 becomes our new number of mangoes, is what I'm trying to mean. Then when we come to the old price, or old mango, or old amount, the old number of mangoes, old number of mangoes, the mangoes you had at first, before you removed anything, how many mangoes did somebody had? How many did somebody had before making any degreement? is what they are meaning. So I will say, I will divide by the number of mangoes somebody had at first, before removing anything, before reducing anything. That reducing or that removing is what we are referring to, degreement. So we shall say 300 mangoes out of 500 mangoes, because they were 500. The new mango, those, those are the old, Number of mangoes, that is the old number of mangoes. I'm just substituting this. New out of old. New out of old. Then from there, I'll just copy this statement the way it is. Then I begin working it out or canceling everything out. I'll say 300. 300 mangoes. Three hundred mangoes divided by five hundred 
mangoes. So we are looking at this. 300 mangoes, which, were, which was the new number of mangoes, divided by 500 mangoes, which was the old number of mangoes. So let's look at this. We shall first of all take this unit with this unit. They will cancel out. Mangoes with mangoes, they will cancel out. So we no longer have mangoes at all. We are remaining with 300 divided by 500. Since there is zero ending here and a zero ending here, I will cancel out this zero from the numerator. I cancel this zero from the denominator. Zero from a numerator, zero from a denominator. Then from there, we need to ask ourselves, what are we remaining with? What are we remaining with? When you look at what we have, we are remaining with three out of five. That's what we are remaining with. So if we are remaining with three out of five, I'll come with it and write it here. I'll say the next step, I'll have three out of five. Remember, when you are writing ratios, we said a numerator becomes the first ratio. And the denominator becomes the second ratio. So, if 3 is our numerator, then it will become our first ratio. And if 5 is our denominator, then if 5 is our second ratio. This will be written as... 3, 2, 5. This is how it is written. It is written as 3, 2, 5. 3, 2, 5. And when you look at 3 to 5, it is now our ratio of degrement. I'll come here and say, there are 4... The ratio, the ratio of degrement, the ratio of degrement or degrees is the ratio of degrement or degrees. Let's use the degrees because we have used the degrees in a question. The ratio of degrees is 3 to 5. After there, you'll have to get your ruler and underline this. After underlining your number, after underlining your number, I want us to ask ourselves the questions where you are seated. That how can we prove this answer is correct? For you to prove that the answer is correct or it is wrong, we shall get our ratio. The first ratio will be our numerator. Then the second ratio will be our denominator. We multiply by the original number. After multiplying by the original number, if the answer is the same as the second number, then our answer will be right. So we'll come here and say, let me prove by saying 3 out of 5 times our original number or old number. It is 500. So we shall say times 500 mangoes. By doing this, we are just trying to prove if what we have written here, it is really correct or it is not correct. That's what we are looking at. So from there I will say 3 out of 5 times 500. Mangoes. So if, if, if we work out this and it gives us the new number of mangoes, it confirms us that the ratio is correct. So we shall say by 5, 1. By 5, 1. By 5, these zeros will be written here. So we shall remain with 3 times 100, which will be 3 times 100 mangoes. This will give us 300 mangoes. And if it has given us 300 mangoes, then this confirms us that the ratio is right. 
calculate the number of mangoes, they are 300 mangoes, and you check your second number. What have they given you? According to the question, they said it was degrees 500 mangoes was degrees to 300 mangoes. And when you find three out of four, when you use that ratio, you will realize that the decrement of this is in the ratio of three to five. This is just for proving, but the answer ends here. As you are there outside watching, have you just switched on your TV and you realize that you have missed some steps? Simple, what you do? Just subscribe your BTN YouTube channels, Twitter accounts, check on their Facebook, check on their Instagram. In case, in case, you reach there and you find out that there is any question where you feel you need to make an inquiry directed to the person who was delivering the lesson, you will be given my number at the end of the lesson. Meanwhile, let's look at the, sec the last example. That is example three. Want to look at example three? Want to look at example three? What does example three? Want to say, how can we look at this? Uh, work out, work out the ratio, work out the ratio that con degrees, work out the ratio that can 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 degrees, 940 millions francs to 800 million francs. Let's look at this example also, the last example. What is the last example saying in this case? The last example, we are still continuing with the decrement, finding the ratio of decrement. So last example, that is example three. Example three is saying, work out the ratio that can degrees Sometimes if they don't use the word degrees, they use the word reduce. So we need to find out the ratio that can reduce or degrees. Those two words are so necessary. They either use reduce or degrees. So if somebody says degrees, another person says reduce, it is the same. Uh -huh. So let's switch back to our question. Work out the ratio that can degrees 940, 940 million francs to 800 million francs. Let's look at this number. And the first thing we have to identify the old amount. At the same time, we also identify the new amount. Then from there, we shall be in a position to find the ratio of degrees by saying new amount solution new amount will be equal to then we also have to find out the old amount will also have to be equal to then we shall also have to find ratio ratio shall also have to find out 
ratio ratio degrees the ratio that degrees the, the amount so let's for identify the new amount how much did this person had at first and at the end of it he ended up with how much that is the money he ended up with is the money we are calling new amount and according to the question they said work out the ratio that can degrees 940 millions to 800 million francs so if this is the uh, uh, if this is the amount to be reduced then it will qualify it makes it to qualify to be our old amount then the new amount it will be reduced to this so our new amount will be 800 million it will be 800 million francs that will be the amount of money that after reducing 940 millions as an old amount you'll come out with 800 millions that will be now our new amount so our old amount will be 940 millions rwandan francs that will be the amount then from there we come to ratio degrees the ratio that degrees this money from 940 million to 800 million that will come out we shall say for us to find the ratio of degrees we shall come out with new new amount we shall come out with the new amount divide by old amount new amount divide by old amount by by doing this we are finding the ratio of degrees the ratio that brought this money down and we have already identified our money or our new amount as 800 so we are substituting this step by the figures now by saying new amount new amount is 800 so where there is a new amount i'll put there 800 francs divide by we are getting our francs uh, our new amount as 800 million francs we are dividing by the all the amount which was 900 40 millions and it was in francs so from there we need to come to the next step the next step we have to cancel everything out and we come out with a ratio but before canceling i'll copy everything here and i paste it down here when i paste it like this i'll come and cancel the next step i leave the first one such that my work will look neat So, from here, we have francs, we'll go with the francs. Then remember I told you earlier in other previous lessons that whenever you cancel a zero from a denominator, you have also to cancel a zero from a numerator. From an, as you cancel from a numerator, you have also to cancel from a denominator. One by one, one at a go. Don't cancel and the numerator you cancel three then the denominator one no it's not allowed you cancel one as on the numerator then you cancel another one on a denominator so we say this zero goes with this zero this zero goes with this zero this zero goes with this zero this zero goes with this this zero goes with this zero we have this zero goes with this zero after there what else to look at this we are remaining with 80 and 94. When you look at these two numbers, they are multiples of 2. So if they are multiples of 2, let's reduce 
on the size. I will say by 2, 80 divided by 2, we shall get 40. 90 divided by 2, 94 divided by 2. I will say 9 divided by 2, it will give us 4. Then we bring one here, which will give us 7. So 90, 94 divided by 2, it will give us 47. And when you look at 47 and the 40, they may not have any other factor that it divides them completely. So from there, I'll come here and say, I'll finally have 40 out of 47. And this is our numerator, this is our denominator. When we are writing ratios, we said a numerator is ever the first. Then the denominator becomes our second ratio. So this will give us 40 to 47. So it means when you look at 40 and 47, they may not have a common factor that divides the two of them. So if they don't have the common factor that can divide the two of them, we shall now call this our last ratio in this case. Then I will come with the last one and say, therefore, the degrees or the ratio, the ratio of degrees, the ratio of degrees is 42, 47. Then from there you get your ruler and underline. Use a ruler, don't use a free hand. Somebody outside there is saying, no, let me use a free hand because teacher Fred was also using a free hand. No, please use a ruler. Use a ruler to underline work such that your work will look neat. Okay? I told you previously in the other examples that if you want to prove this right, just get the first ratio out of the second ratio times the original number. Once you multiply with the original number, you will come out with the correct answer. Once you multiply out and you come out with the new number, it, that confirms us that is a correct number. However, as I wind up with my lesson, as I wind up with my lesson, I would like to pass this communication to my candidates seated outside there watching us on BTN TV. Please stay at home as instructed by the government. On addition to that, as you are staying home, keep revising because examination is extending towards us. On addition to that, I would also request everyone outside there that is watching us to take care and really follow the directives that the government has given us to overcome this situation of the Tamig disease known as COVID-19. It will come to an end, we believe. Uh, without wasting time, let me also leave you with some exercise, our candidates outside there that have been watching us. I have prepared for you some few numbers here for your own, for your own benefit, I think, if I'm to call it. Uh, concerning to the lesson, everything that has taken place, if there is anything that uh, you have not understood, and you'd wish to make an inquiry, please, you can reach the person concerned of the lesson, teacher friend, on this number. Use only WhatsApp message to ask your question, you'll be answered. Use any language. There are, very, uh, there are some people who may not be able to type the message well in English, whether in English, whether in Kinyarwanda, please type and send, you'll be replied according to what you need. So we shall, I will expect everyone to have a certain revision book that is for research. You write these questions, you work them out. When time for schools come, or when they open our schools, or when they reopen schools, get this work, present it to your teacher, will help you to mark it. As you present it, present it as your personal research. 
Because this is your personal research that you are doing where you are. Let's look at number one. 84 was degrees to 50. But what is the question is saying up? They are say, the statement is saying calculate the ratios of degrees in each number below. So the first number, they have given us 84 was degrees to 50. So they want you to find or to calculate the ratio of degreement within this first example. When we come to the second example, as I'm, going, as I'm reading through, you have to be writing. Just know our time is up. Uh, everything may disappear before you complete this work. Second example, I mean second exercise or second question. 7,000 4,700 4, kilograms were degreased to 3,000 was decreased to should be was was decreased. So this number of kilograms was decreased 4,700 kilograms were degrees to 3,800 kilograms. So they want you to find the ratio that degrees to these kilograms from here up to here. Number C. Number C says 5,000 centimeters degrees to 3,800 centimeters. Still, they want you to find the ratio that degrees to this distance from 5,000 centimeters to 3,800 centimeters. When we come to the last, but not least, they also, they also, they also require you to find the ratio that degrees 410,000 seedlings Degrees to 350,000 seedlings. So they want you also to find the ratio that degrees to these seedlings from 410,000 to 350,000. They want you to find out the ratio that degrees to them. As you're finding the ratios, please put this in mind. Teacher Fred is from Wisdom Center. That is a school located in Vujasela district, just in Kalumuna. Too close to Gigali. We collect our children with our school buses from Kigali, Nyamata, and nearby places. This school offers quality services to children at a relevant conversation or price. Our school fees is really so friendly. It is only 70,000 francs. We pay 70,000, parents pay 70,000 francs as a school fees only and the staff is able to deliver their content to the maximum to ensure that our kids how to compete or we produce the competitive citizens within the country and the whole world as well. Meanwhile, you also supposed to put in consideration that the school academically performs better or well. Last year, if I'm to make a reference to the national examination we had very many candidates in the p6 class and we managed to come out with 33.33 percent with the five aggregates meaning that the those kids there obtained d1 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 in five subjects we came out with 33.33% with only five aggregates. 
On the same note, out of all the number of pupils we had, 90.5 passed in Division 1. And only 9.5 passed in Division 2. And of which those who passed in Division 2 missed Division 1 with only one aggregate. So, basing on that, I would advise our parents outside there who are watching us at this moment that continuously, continuously trust Wisdom Center with your child, you will never regret. The best gift, as our model says, the best gift is knowledge. The best gift is knowledge. We wish you well as we continue from there next time. Thank you.